today. This is, is the day, day that, that the Lord, Lord has made, and we will rejoice, rejoice and be glad in it. Thank you, Father God. Father, such a privilege to share your word, yes. to send your word forth, Father God, because Thank that you, is Lord. why you saved us, that is why you blessed us, and that is why you've put your spirit within us, Father God, to go make disciples of all nations. Yes. And Father, we thank you, those who hear your word, and Father God, and listen to your word, and watch on YouTube or wherever, Father God. We ask that the word will have an impact in their lives. Yes, Lord. Lord draw them closer to you, and if Jesus. they don't know you, Father God, that they will come, Lord, make you as... Come and make you Lord and Savior of their lives, yes, Father. Amen. We thank you, Father God, Hallelujah. for this privilege in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. amen. So we're going to turn to, uh, if you have a Bible, you can turn with us there. It's uh, awesome. The Bible is so wonderful. You know what we're going to share with you today. For us, it's a privilege. Are you there already? Mm -hmm. uh, from that time, Jesus began to show to his disciples that he must go to Jerusalem and suffer many things from the elders and chief priests and scribes mm. and he and be killed and be raised on the third day then Peter took him aside and he, he aside and began to rebuke him saying far far be it from you lord this shall not happen to you mm. but uh, jesus turned to to peter and said get behind me satan you are an offense to me for you are not mindful of the things of God but the things of men mm. he didn't he, he didn't mean Satan is Satan uh, I mean uh, Peter is mm. Satan because he changed Peter uh, uh, Simon was his name first mm. to the solid rock in him in Christ Jesus he actually was addressing Satan that was speaking through uh, 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 what Peter. to Peter yes and uh, he was uh, he was saying that he is willing to take up the cup that he was facing, mm. you know, and uh, you know to take up the cross and uh, and to uh, um, I mean really die for our sins. Mm. And that Amen. is we, we are clo closing to uh, very close to uh, we. Are, this is now the month of April 1992, very in the beginning, mm. 1922. In uh, this is the fourth of April today, mm. and I want to say that there's many people. That doesn't know that that the perfect Lamb of God has has uh, died at the cross of Calvary. Mm. And in the Old Testament, it talks also uh, when Jesus, when God has commanded uh, uh, the Israelites, when God set them free mm. and and, uh, and asked Moses to uh, put the the blood. blood on the doors mm. and that. And uh, you know, it's so important to know. That the blood speaks of our uh, the covenant relationship Amen. that we have today with our Lord Jesus Thank Christ. You, Jesus. And he knew he knew mm. what he was uh, facing that yes. day when he was talking to Thank them you, Lord Jesus. about it. Yes, you know because Peter before this Peter Simon Peter was saying uh, uh, you know that uh, uh, Jesus was asking them in the same scripture mm. of sixteen chapter sixteen of Matthew. Jesus asked them, who do men say that I, the son of man, uh, 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 am? So they said, some say John the Baptist, some say Elijah, and others say Jeremiah or one uh, one of the prophets. But who do you say that mm. I am? Simon Peter answered and said, you are the Christ, mm. the son of the living God. Mm. Jesus answered him and said to him, blessed are you, Simon Bar uh, Jonah, for flesh and blood has not revealed mm. this to you, but my Amen. Father who is in heaven. And I also say to you that you are Peter, and on this mm. rock I will build my church, Amen. and the gates of Hades shall not, not prevail mm. against Amen. it. And I will give you the keys of the kingdom of heaven, and mm. whatever you bind on earth will be bound in heaven, mm. and whatever you lose on earth will be loosed in heaven. Amen. Then he commanded his disciples that they shall... Tell no one that you want Jesus the Christ. Mm. And he said it also in uh, chapter 17, verse 17, when Jesus was transfigured uh, on the Mount of Olives. I'm just going to ask my husband to do the reading there, the Bible reading, and explain further from verse 1 to 9. 
Matthew chapter 17 After six days Jesus took with him Peter, James and John, the brother of James, and led them up a high mountain by themselves. There he was transfigured before them, his face shone like the sun, and his clothes became as white as the light. Just then there appeared before them Moses and Elijah, talking with Jesus. Peter said to Jesus, Lord, it is good for us to be here. If you wish, I will put up three shelters, one for you, one for Moses, and one for Elijah. While he was still speaking, a light, a bright cloud covered them, and a voice from the cloud said, This is my son, whom I love, with whom I am well pleased. Listen to him. When the disciples heard this, they fell face down to the ground, terrified. But Jesus came and touched them. Get up, he said. Don't be afraid. When they looked up, they saw no one except Jesus. As they were coming down the mountain, Jesus instructed them, Don't tell anyone what you have seen until the Son of Man has been raised from the dead. Amen. Amen. You see, Hallelujah. when after Jesus predicted his death, he went up the mountain, he took Peter, James and John with him, his inner circle, and there they saw Jesus transfigured, and they saw Moses and Elijah appeared in front of them. And we believe and understand because Jesus spoke about his death and his resurrection, we believe that uh, Moses and Elijah came as in a, in, a, in a garden of Gethsemane where we will uh, read later that the, uh, that the angels came to strengthen him even yes. we, we, when he was in the desert camp that the angels yes. came Amen. and now before his death and resurrection Moses and Elijah came and because the word of God says he, he wanted to bring this fact and to their attention, the, the, uh, the three disciples' attention, because they ask Jesus, why do they say that Elijah must first come? And Jesus said that Elijah did come and they, and they did what they wanted at, with him as they did with the older uh, uh, prophets in the Old Testament, stoning them, killing them. And then they understood he was speaking about John the John the Baptist, because John the Baptist was thrown into jail because he was preparing the way for Christ and he was beheaded. And so we understand that Jesus took his inner circle because he was getting nearer and he wanted he wanted some comfort with his inner circle. And we, what we will see later on, they couldn't stand with him while he went into prayer and suffering. But what we want to say is even... In the last days which we are expecting, the Word of God also teaches us there will be two witnesses. Yes. Two witnesses before the final, before the final events that yes. will happen in Revelation. And these two witnesses came while Jesus was still alive. So the disciples could see, and in the end times there will be two witnesses. And we see that whenever God prepares His people, he yes. always sends witnesses. Amen. He always sends a warning. And we thank, the, uh, we thank the Father that Jesus took the disciples and He said to them, they must only speak about these things after His resurrection because yes. if they had to speak before the resurrection, people's minds will not be, be set on the things of God anymore. Yes. They will, it will be set on other things. They, uh, as, even as Peter said, let us make three shelters for, for Jesus, for, for Moses and Elijah. So people, even up today, we see how people are deceived. They make their own things. They build their own uh, temples. They build their own kingdoms because they, they didn't depend only on Jesus. And Jesus wanted them to depend fully on His death mm -hmm. and His resurrection. Mm -hmm. And we thank the Father that these things are written for us not as only as a guidance, but also as a warning yes. that we mustn't do our own things, but be te uh, but um, but um, depend on the instructions of our Lord Jesus Christ and of the Holy Spirit that's leading and guiding us 
Amen. during this time. Amen. Amen. That's why it's so awesome to be your Holy Spirit filled and Holy Spirit led. Amen. Because He leads you in all truth. Hallelujah. Yes. Uh, this was also something uh, uh, also in uh, Matthew 16 and that. Uh, in uh, when Jesus told the disciples that they must take up the cross and follow him. Then Jesus said to his son, If anyone desires to come after me, let him deny himself and take up his cross and follow me. For whoever desires to save his life will lose it. <laughs> but whoever loses his life for my sake will find it. Hallelujah. Mm. For what profit is it to a man if he gains the whole world and loses his own soul? Or what will a man give in exchange for his soul? For the Son of Man will come in great glory, hallelujah, of his Father with his angels. Mm. And then he will reward according each according to his works. Mm. You see, faith in Christ, you know, with, uh, uh, faith in, 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 uh, without works is nothing. You know, because uh, the book of James, if we can just turn to it, you know, uh, faith is a working action by the Holy Spirit. You know, because we are Holy Spirit full and Holy Spirit led. We don't just say things, we walk by faith and not by sight. Amen. Because we live in the supernatural realm of what the Holy Spirit wants us to see. Amen. And what the Holy Spirit wants us to to speak as well and to Thank hear what His Spirit is saying to us. And uh, I just want to uh, my husband to read uh, uh, James. Are you by James? Mm. James chapter 2 from verse 14. What good is it, my brothers and sisters, if someone claims to have faith but has no deeds? Can fa such faith save them? Suppose a brother or a sister is without clothes and daily food. If one of you say to them, Go in peace, keep warm and well fed, but does nothing about their physical needs, what good is it? In the same way, faith by itself, if it is not accompanied by action, is dead. But someone will say, You have faith, I have deeds. Show me your faith without your deeds, and I will show you my faith by my deeds. Yes. You believe there is one God? Good. Even the demons believe that and shudder. You foolish person, do you want evidence that faith without deeds is useless? Was not your father Abraham considered righteous for what he did when he offered his son Isaac on the altar? And his actions were working together and his faith was made complete by what he did. Yeah. You see here that what James is talking about is faith is not a a, a thing just in your mind or what you believe or say what you believe faith must must go with actions because your action is proof of your faith just as God says you can't love me if you can't love your brother yes because you can't love God when we can't see it's impossible the only way that a person can know that you love God is if you love your brother and sister in Christ there's no other way because that is what Christ also said to his disciples. Mm -hmm. And James, just put it another way, if we say we have faith in God, then we must, we must act according to that faith. And the only way you can act according it is to do what God requires you and I to do. If we say that we have faith in God, then we must do the things that God desires of us. Yes. And his desire is before Christ went up to to uh, went up to, to to heaven, he said, "Go and make disciples of all nations, nations. baptize them in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, and teach them all that I have obeyed you, yes. uh, that I have taught you." Mm -hmm. So you see that if we say that we are disciples of Christ, one of the things are that we, if we have faith in God, then we will make disciples. Another yes. thing is that uh, that Paul writes to Timothy is if you have faith in God, he says, look after the orphans, look after the widows, because he says if you look after the orphans, that is that is true religion. Yes, you know, right. and that is the only time in the Bible where religion is defined. Mm. If you look after the orphans and the widows, you can say you are religious. 
and you and you and you believe in God. But if you do not do these things, what James is talking about, then there is uh, uh, people won't be, people won't believe you. But we must realize also that people use these things to mislead people, to to uh, uh, lead people astray. They do good works to take them away from God and take them to false gods because you get false religions. And their, and, their, and their religion is just based on good works. Mm -hmm. While our religion is based on faith in God, mm -hmm. what He did on the cross for us. Yes. And so now we act in our deeds. And that is what James is talking about. Yes, right. God asked Abraham to sacrifice Isaac. And he showed by his faith. He took Isaac and wanted to sacrifice him. But God didn't allow him. But God saw through his actions that he has faith. To do it and he would have done it because he said that he believed God will raise Isaac from the dead again. Amen. Amen. I'm here by first Peter. Can you just turn there with me? For but the end of all things is at hand. Therefore, be serious and watchful in your prayers. And above all things, have fervent love for one another, for love will cover a multitude of sins be hospital to one another without grumbling as each one has received a gift minister it to one another as good stewards of the manifold grace of our lord god amen if anyone speaks let him speak as an oracle of god if anyone ministers let him do it as with ability which God supplies, that in all things God may be glorified through Jesus Christ, to whom belong the glory and the dominion, now and forever. Oh, beloved, do not think it is uh, it strange uh, concerning the fiery trial which is to try you, as though some strange thing happened to you, but rejoice to the extent that you partake of God, Christ's suffering, that when His glory is revealed, you may also be glad with exceeding joy. Amen. If you are reproached for the name of Christ, blessed are you for the Spirit of glory, hallelujah, and of God rest upon you. So wonderful to know that God is, so, is with us all the time during our trials and our uh, uh, and temptations. God wants us to be focused upon Him daily. Amen. And He wants us to, to, to reveal uh, the future to you. Because we know our future. Amen. Amen. We know that it's going to be a glorious future. Heaven is just about glory. Heaven is, uh, our, that, heaven is our eternal place. Heaven is our uh, eternal citizenship. Amen. Our citizenship is not here from earth. Mm -mm. It is in heaven. We always tell that to all our, 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 our own children and our spiritual mm. children. We always tell that to them. Our citizenship is not here from earth. I want my husband just to turn them on. But our citizenship is in heaven. And we eagerly await a Savior from there, the Lord Jesus Christ who by the power that enables him to bring everything under his control yes. will transform our lowly bodies so that they will be like his glorious body. Amen. You, you see, when, when, when Paul was writing this to the Philippians, that was in a time of great persecution because that is what just after the, the crucifixion, uh, crucifixion of Jesus and his resurrection and the disciples yeah. were scattered from Jerusalem and the people were waiting for, they, they were actually expecting Christ to return during their lifetime. But, but, but Paul warned them, even in other, in other letters to Thessalonians and so forth, that the Christ will come, but there yes. will still be events before He comes. And here, he, he actually encouraged the Philippians to say to them, Our citizenship yeah. is not here. Whatever we're suffering here now is yes. not worthwhile what we are going to achieve and what we are going to enjoy because it says our citizenship is in heaven and we know the word of God teaches us in Revelation in heaven the streets are made of gold mm. 
the gates of the new Jerusalem are to our foes. Yes. And we see that whatever is in heaven is glorious. Amen. And the word of God, even in Philippians, also teaches us that Christ gave up these riches and his glory to come to so that he can take us from our lowly position to be where he is, to change our body that's corruptible into incorruptible. And so Paul is encouraging the Philippians here to hang on, to hang on. And we realize now this word is for us as well mm. during this time yes. because we see what's happening. The war there with the Ukraine, the, uh, and, and we believe is, uh, is going to lead up to, to the war against Israel, to the Third World War. But we are encouraged when we read yes. this word because it says just a little time because our citizenship is not here. Amen. We're not fighting, we're not battling mm. for property, for land, and for all no, these riches no, on earth. No. We are awaiting the, uh, the Savior, Savior from above Hallelujah. to change us, to take us away from here, Amen. to rapture us. Jesus, and we are ex excited Lord. when we read these things Amen. in the Word of God because it strengthens us. Because when we put on the news, it's negative. When we open the newspaper, it's negative. But when mm. we open the Word of God, then it's just positive, it's just encouraging and we are uplifted ourselves when we read this word and we want you also to be uplifted and encouraged yes. to know that Christ is coming soon to change us, to be like Him yeah. and to be with Him. Hallelujah. Amen. And even here in uh, uh, verse uh, uh, First Peter, I mean I'm still in First Peter, we speaks about when He was approaching death. Is uh, from verse 12, uh, verse, uh, uh, chapter 1 of First Peter 1. He says here, For this reason I will not be negligent to remind you always of these things, though you know and are uh, established in the present truth. Yes, I think it is right as long as I am in this tent. He's talking about uh, uh, the tent, or the, you know, uh, the body tent. Uh, to stir you up by reminding you, knowing that shortly I must put off my tent. That is a body, you know, the physical body. Just as our Lord Jesus Christ showed me. Moreover, I will be careful to ensure that you all always have a reminder of these things after my decease. For we did not follow cunningly devised fables when we were made known to you the power and coming of our Lord Jesus Christ, but were eyewitnesses of His majesty. For ye received from God the Father honor and glory when such a voice came to Him from the excellent glory. Hallelujah. When, G when God says from heaven, This is my beloved Son, in whom I am well pleased. And we heard this voice which came from heaven when we were with him and on the holy mountains concerning the transfiguration of our Lord Jesus Christ, that his body became glorious, you know, and after his resurrection, you know, that the, the day the, the, when the angels came to roll the stone away so that Jesus can come out and that, he was glorious. They saw the glory. The people that, uh, that uh, what do you call them, the soldiers, eh? they were afraid yeah. when they saw Jesus. Uh, I, I mean, the angels that, you know, the angels are massive. They are huge. And that and uh, they were rolling that God sent his mighty angels to roll that stone away so that his son can come forth. And he came forth gloriously. And the first people that saw him was uh, the, the, the woman. Yeah. You know, women are, are always... Uh, 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 yeah, how can I say, they always desire to be with, with Jesus as I am, you know, and many other women that I know, we always want to be with the Lord Jesus Christ Thank and they Jesus. went to, uh, uh, what do you call it, on say, lacham the balsam, mm. and they, they you know, to, embalm. To, to embalm his body and then with ointment and all that, because they were still thinking he's dead and that, and when they came there, he was resurrected by the power of our Father God, of our Abba Father, hallelujah. And we are thankful for, the, for God's great Holy Spirit that has, uh, 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 the, you know, we believe in the, that has resurrected, in that same mm. Spirit that raised Jesus from the dead, that has resurrected our Lord Jesus Christ from the dead, hallelujah. Thank you Lord Jesus. And we are thankful, we're looking forward for His soon coming. And uh, Peter wrote here also in verse 19, I'm still here in Second Peter, 
and we and so we have the prophetic word confirmed which you do well to heed as a light that shines in the dark places until the day dawns and the morning star rises in your heart for prophecy never came by the will of man never but holy men of god spoke as they were moved by the holy spirit amen so it is god's holy spirit that empower yes. us when we spoke the truth the word is truthful amen. jesus is the living word amen. as he says to us in the book of john the very first three chapters mm. that in the beginning was the word and the word was with god so jesus was always there that's why he went when, when uh, john was raptured into heaven he saw a whole future Jesus told him the very first word mm. that I am the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning mm. and yes. end, Amen. the first and the last, the one who was and is and is Thank to come, the Almighty One, hallelujah, and we are so excited for His soon coming, Amen. we are excited for that glorious day when Amen. He's going to come and every eye will see Him, yes. every eye shall see yes, Jesus Lord. coming. Even those that pierced him, mm. even those that as uh, 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 and all the tribes of the mm. earth will mourn because of him. But we say even so, Amen. Come, Lord Jesus, come. Amen. Even here in Revelation 22, uh, verse uh, seven, where it says, "I'll read it to you, and you can you can go look it up." That the, the time of our Lord Jesus Christ is near. It says here, uh, "Behold, I'm coming soon Amen. and quickly." He's going to come soon and very quickly. Thank because you, we're going to be changed in a twinkling of an Thank eye. You, Father very God. quickly. And we are ready for that soon mm. for the soon coming that Amen. event that's going to happen. We're going to be changed. Our, our, our bodies, this mm. body is going to change in a glorious body. Just as Jesus has been glorified. Yes. Amen. They, have seen, they have seen it on the, the Mount of Transfiguration. Yes. They have seen how many things has changed and yes. how, uh, you know, how Jesus came to change the world mm. and uh, he's already reigning from heaven to earth yes. through us and he will continue reigning through uh, uh, through and uh, by, uh, through us by his Holy Spirit till the day he's gonna come and we know that uh, our names are written in the book of life Thank you, and uh, uh, we know that Jesus is a tree of life mm. and we know he's a giver of life hallelujah as we said to uh, we read to you earlier on that Jesus gave himself he gave he was willing mm. to die for our sins he became the perfect pass over lamb hallelujah yes, Lord. as the word described and we are so thankful that we say and we and the spirit the mm. holy spirit says and the bride says uh, we the bride of christ he's yes. a bridegroom we says come lord jesus Amen. come and let Thank him who jesus. hears say come. come and let him who are thirsty whoever desires let him take of the the water of the life freely Amen. everything is free the gospel is free the water of life the rivers of living waters the word of god says shall run into our innermost being those that are thirsty come drink and and uh, uh, a drink of the water of, of of fresh water beautiful fresh water mm. and and see taste and see that the lord is good and that rivers of living waters shall mm. flow through our innermost being forever hallelujah you, we everything uh, of god mm. is eternal it's you know it's a free drink mm. of the rivers of living waters and with that, we are so thankful that we can, oh, could encourage you mm. from the word of God, the eternal word of God that yes. will ever settle in heaven. And we are glad that we could share with you the great, the great word of God. Amen. That, and of his great day that he's going to come for Amen. his glorious bride yes. and uh, for the ready bride as well. And that's why we, uh, uh, we want to encourage you. To surrender your life to the Lord Jesus, surrender mm. your all and live the life holy Amen. and acceptable in the eyes of our Thank Lord Jesus Lord Christ. Jesus. Because we 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 are living as husband and wife, well pleasing in the eyesight of God. But there's Thank sometimes you, also things when we are uh, not doing right, and then the Holy Spirit convict us, and then we come together and when we then we pray, we pray together. It's very good, you know, we're one. Uh, 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 when one put a thousand to flight, two put two thousand to flight. Amen? Amen. So I want to say be blessed 
and we're going to talk, the next talk with we're going to talk is about the veterans, you know, in, and in the army of God. That is our next talk, and it's wonderful to bless you with the word of God. Thank you, Lord bless. Jesus. Be blessed and stay blessed in the presence of God. Amen. God bless you. God Till bless the next you. time. Bye. Bye.